world's strongest dive out of superhero. The new kid's here. Come on, new kid. Can I help you? Yeah, hi. We signed up for the tour. Ah, uh, yes, the night tour, correct? Uh, yeah, we're a little early. Well, I'm afraid for safety purposes, the tours are only offered from 10 p.m. to midnight. What, just to be extra spooky? It'll be worth the wait, my friends. See you tonight. Shit. Well, now what do we do? We'll just have to wait. We can't afford to let anyone else go in or out of this gate. I agree. We're just gonna have to wait here till nighttime. Okay, how far away is that? Uh, about six hours. All right, just wait six hours and we're good to go. How long now? Still about six hours. Okay, cool. This sure is gonna be exciting in six hours. Shut up, Scott. Did anybody bring any, uh, snacks or anything? Yeah, we should've bought snacks. Oh, God, okay, how long now? Right around six hours still. Jesus, fuck. You know, kid, you still have yet to tap the full potential of your time-bending ass. 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 Something that could enhance your ability could possibly make time pass more quickly. Please. See that AC fan over there? Right there, behind you, over by the gate. On the left side, can't miss it. If you fart into that fan, the oscillation of the gas will filter it through the expansion valve, mixing it with the pressurized refrigerant inside the condenser coils. coils. Don't question if that makes any sense to you, just fire the fan. I'll fire it up for you. Some young people interested in genetic engineering, huh? Wonderful, please come in. Oh, hello. Oh, there's more. Hello, sir. My, my, there's a lot of you. Come in! Well, I'm so pleased that you children are interested in genetic engineering. Genetic science began as a simple question. Can a monkey be made to have four asses instead of one? The answer was yes. And now we've been able to give more asses to pigs, horses, everything you can imagine. Yes, little boy. How does that help? Oh, you're one of the cynics, huh? Well, meet me over here for the tour and I'll show you how. Come on, don't be shy. We don't want to miss the four asses gorilla feeding. <laughs> don't touch anything, okay? Why does he allow tours in here? Kind of short for our test subject volunteer program. Please have a seat. You ever play that video game Half-Life? Okay, here we go. Here you can see our greenhouse. Genetic engineering is helpful to grow larger tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, 
Fruits and vegetables with more asses means more nutrition for people all around the planet. What good does that do? Oh, you Bible thumpers are all alike. Don't play God, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Let's continue up to the second level, shall we? Another benefit of genetic science, of course, is combining animals. Like these donkey apes, bunny fish, squirrel donkeys, and more. Once we put more asses on these, we will truly be benefiting science. Will you please explain how that benefits science at all? What's your name, little boy? Super Craig. You see, Super Craig, once we know how to do things to animals, we can hopefully apply them to mankind. You think having more asses is impossible? I tell you it's not. You see, genetic engineering is not just for animals and veggies. We are working towards helping people as well. Here you can see genetic mutations of my dead son. Most people don't remember that I once had a young child named Terrence. Oh yeah, I remember that kid. I was wondering whatever happened to him. Terrence was killed tragically in town when some kids were playing around with a relic belonging to Barbara Streisand. Oh, jeez, I think that was us. So, you're doing this all as a way to bring back your dead son? Bring him back? Oh, of course not. I'm trying to give his dead body more asses so he can finally rest in peace. Now let's continue on to the fourth floor. Oh, fuck. Well, here we are. The top floor of the building and the end of our tour. What are these? These horrible, monstrous mistakes of science. Our new benefactor has asked that we genetically alter some of the local sixth graders and make them stronger and crazier. Okay, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? How do you mean? Why the fuck would you make genetically enhanced sixth graders? Calm down, Super Craig. How do you think we pay for all this? We have financial donors. Our latest benefactor has asked for this army of mutated sixth graders to protect his altered cats. What altered cats? No, oh, right over this way. A wealthy benefactor named Mr. Connor has donated money to have stray cats enhanced with more asses. Our company can add asses to things at very competitive rates. Problem is that cats seem to become really aggressive when given more asses. They've proven to be quite deadly. Then why would you bring a bunch of kids up here? Look, there's nothing to worry about. This entire facility has a very complex security grid. Huh, that's never happened before. Oh shit, someone shut down the security grid. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. What are you doing, fat ass? So you figured out my little plan, huh, Freedom Pal? Think you can stop me? Oh, I have someone here who'd like to say hello, new kid. Go on, talk. Guys? Guys, it's me, the kid. Will you knock it off? Listen to me. Don't make any deals with this piece of garbage. He's an animal that... Ah! That's enough out of you, kid. You've been a real pain in my ass, new kid. You should have known not to mess with Mitch Connor. Where the fuck are you? Mr. Connor, if you shut down the security grid, then everyone in this building is going to die. What? Sorry, Doc. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the city. So long, Freedom Pals. Day of the rest of your life. There was more to that part. Sorry, but we're we'll probably all These going things to die are so here. bitey and scratchy. Glad to be working with you, new kid. <laughs> nice one, new kid. Actually survive. None of these really scream door. Oh shoot. Well, we'll look back at this and laugh if we live, which we won't. Hashtag my turn. You're gonna hate me for this. You're gonna have to move after what I just did to you. Watch out for their claws and butts. 
These little guys aren't messing around, super friends. Those kitties look kind of cute, but they're not. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, that hurts! It's time. Here we go. Curious. I hit that button three times and it did three different things. Yeah. Show no weakness. <coughs> not, not. Freedom Pal or Coon Friend, you're cool in my book, new kid. Thanks. Talking diabetes and back in action. Well done, but I'm afraid you're still hopelessly outassed. No. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a lot better about the door opening this time. Oops, now I've done it. Nightmare, I aspire to be. <laughs> Today, you cross paths with the wrong immortal fourth grader. Oops, I think I just did something bad to the generator. Your attack only fuel my rage! <laughs> Physical damage, my favorite! I feel I should mention that my test subjects have a crazed hunk. I think I just did something bad to the generator. <laughs> oh, shot combatant, but diabetes will prevail. Captain Diabetes, into the fray. Ah, there, there, don't get up. My poor creatures. We must escape the lab. Maybe. Maybe we can go through some of the larger exhibits. This way, children. Hmm, it's gonna take a scientific approach to solve this one. Mutant sixth graders are on the loose. This was definitely not supposed to happen. Uh, school's so dumb. Parents are dumb. Yeah, adults are stupid. Oh, Jesus. It's okay. We'll be safe in the tour tram. Oh, the tour tram is offline. Somebody's gonna have to get to the CPU and hit the override switch. Where's the CPU? Down on the third level. Oh, it was silly to put it there, wasn't it? So somebody has to walk down to the third level and flip the switch? One, two, three, not it! Not it! Not, not it! Not it! Not it. <laughs> not it! Sorry, new kid, but it really should be you anyway. Yeah, if you think about it, this is all kind of your fault. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 